Hello, this is Abhinit from EMEA Tag Team. So I have been working in this VoIP domain for almost six years and more. So today we are going to talk about how we do an install upgrade of the firmware file on the phone and also on the call manager, what all the steps we need to perform. We'll see that in this video. So f first we need to download the core file. So we'll go to software.cisco.com. This is the location where we can download the COF file. So let it load it up. So I have logged in using my ID. You can log in using yours. So we'll click on software download. So it will take us to the download page where we can search for that particular phone model firmware. So here you can type the phone model for which you want to download the firmware. For instance, I'm searching for 7821. This is for 7821 series phone. And also we need to download for the SIF software. So you can see there are multiple versions available. We need to check the latest one that is available. In this case, this is 12.1.1. So we'll click on download and download this file. So the download has started. So we just save it to the somewhere on your desktop. So download has finished. You can see here. Now we'll open our call manager page. So log into your call manager page. In my case, it was already logged in. So we need to go to the OS administration page where we'll find the install upgrade option. So we are at OS admin page. Here you will find under software upgrade, there is install upgrade option in the drop down. So here you need to enter all the required fields. Like for example, I'm using a remote SFTP, so I'll select remote file system. Directory should be your directory where the file has been stored. And the server name is the server where you have the IP of the SFTP server, the username and the credential for your SFTP login. So once you are done, click next. So you will get all the files under that particular folder. So this is the first uh, cov file that we have put in on the SFTP folder. So we need to select that file, click next. It will start to download that file. It will take some time. Then it will give you the MD5 checksum value and all. You need to verify if it is correct, else you will come to know that whether your file is corrupted or not. We click next and now it has completed. It will take some time, I have skipped that part but now it is completed. So once it is completed, please ensure that you are uploading or installing the file on all the TFTP nodes and also on the publisher node. So now we are going to the phone page. Here you need to go to device, device settings, device defaults. So we'll search for that particular model 7821. So you can see it supports dual bank that it will support both active and inactive load. So the new firmware that we have installed is in active load. So once you will reboot the phone that will 
that is the option to reset the device all the 7821 device and this is the option to swap the load since it is a dual bank supported firmware so it will switch from active to inactive so now we are going to serviceability page so so we need to go to control features service so now we need to restart that service so when you install the cough file it is always recommended to restart the cisco tftp service sometimes it might reflect automatically but it is always recommended to restart the tftp service so once you are done with the restart go to the device diff yeah search for the phone so we will now move to the phone so that we can get the phone upgraded to the latest firmware which we have uploaded in my scenario it was just a one node cluster so i uploaded it to just one node which is tftp also the publisher so you can see 12.0.1 is an inactive and 11.5.1 .1 is an active load which is my current firmware so you'll also see an option like phone laid load name if you want to just upgrade the phone for just one phone so if you want to upgrade the firmware for just one phone then you can check under phone load name now we are resetting the device so that it will request for the new firmware load as the new firmware has been updated in the device default the phone will request for the latest firmware so as you can see it's in upgrading state the latest firmware requested is 12.1 sr14 so now the device has registered download status successful so it will reboot you can see the phone is registered now we'll go back to the phone after the reboot you can see the active load id is 12.1 sr14 and it is download status says successful so 11.5.1 is in inactive load thank you